Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Connecting to Your Inner Wisdom with Donna. For those of you that I haven't yet had the pleasure of meeting, my name is Donna. I am an internationally recognised kinesiologist um, offering free microkinesiology balances every Wednesday night at 8.30 Australian Eastern Standard Time. Um, around chakras and emotions. So please, as you tune in, let me know where you are coming in from. I'm coming in from Brisbane, and uh, Brisbane, Australia. Um, so it's our winter here. It's currently like, I think it's going to be down to six degrees tonight, which is freezing for us in the tropics, but I'm sure nowhere near as cold as our Canadian and UK friends. So um, yes, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. Mel, 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 how are you? Absolutely. It's so great to see you. Okay. So uh, Mel, definitely a balance for you. So please let me know what you'd like um, and if you'd like chakra or emotion or I can tune in and find out for you. Um, hello, Kerry from Auckland in New Zealand. How are you doing? <laughs> So for those of you that are wondering oh, which balance should I potentially pick, um, let me give you a bit of a rundown on them. So a chakra balance, I tune into your energy and then I'll scan through your chakras for you and let you know which ones are showing stress. And then working with the priority chakra, I'll help, we'll dive a little bit deeper into that and then offer you a support through a balance with that one. If you are after an emotional balance, then I move to the traditional Chinese medicine five element chart over here. And we have a look at which element, meridian, and core emotion is coming up for you um, to get some support with. We dive a bit deeper into that for you, and then I offer you a balance for that support. So um, please let me know as you come in what balance that you might like. So hi, Leanne from Melbourne, and Melanie from South Australia, and Trees from Auckland, Trisha from Sunshine, nice, Palm View, and Tina from Denmark, welcome, welcome. Okay. We'll look to get the night going so I can offer as many balances as possible. Um, I will kick off the night with, hey, Rebecca, how are you doing? Um, I'll kick off the night with Melanie. So now, and I do go where I'm guided to with the balances. So I do scroll up and down. Um, but if it's been a while, if you posted right at the beginning, it's been a while, please feel free to post again because uh, I do go up and down quite a bit because I do go where I'm guided. Um, but yeah, it can help if you, um, if you do that every so often, just so I know that you're still here. <laughs> oh, thanks, Tree. Thanks for sharing it. I really appreciate that. Um, just thank you very much. Okay. So to start off with, um, okay. Oh, just to explain a little bit for those of you, um, that the first time joining as a kinesiologist, I do have a range of tools around me that I access. Um, so you will see me sort of move off to different areas and grab different things, and sometimes bob down to grab different tools to offer you extra support for your balance. Okay. So moving, um, starting the evening with Mel. So Mel, I'm just going to tune into your energy now. Wonderful. Okay. And just as I tune into your energy, I'll just be using some traditional Chinese medicine acupressure points just to make sure our connection is as strong as possible. Um, so you will see me touching various parts of the body. You probably won't see the lower ones so much because I'm not tall enough. Um, but I am just touching very particular traditional Chinese medicine acupressure points, um, which mean different things depending upon um, you know what we put into the context of the balance. But the primary goal is to make sure that our connection is as strong as possible because with kinesiology, I'm actually guided by your innate awareness as to what support you need um, and what any imbalances are there that need to be um, uh, sort of removed or um, dissolved for you. Okay. So now just offering you some support through your heart chakra just as we tune in. And I can definitely feel we're tuning in because I suddenly feel really floaty. <laughs> okay. And just additional support through your heart chakra for your mouth.
Well, sometimes it's quite normal to um, require require quite a bit of support um, as we join. We all lead you know busy day to day lives, and so it's just helping to refocus, realign, and tune in. And so sometimes, depending upon what our day has been like, um, sometimes it can be you know maybe a little bit of support required um, to help tune into that connection. And sometimes it can be quite a bit, and each is okay. So Mel, just offering you some um, support through your solar plexus chakra. Just checking your central meridian and your governing meridian. Hydration. So male hydration has come up for you. Um, so often that can mean that perhaps we haven't had enough water to drink during the day. And I imagine it is morning <laughs> where you are. So you haven't had as much of an opportunity as I have had over this side of the world. Um, so if you wouldn't mind um, taking a sip of water and holding it in your mouth uh, for 10 to 12 seconds. And I'll take a sip of water on this end as well. Hey, wonderful. Okay, so now I'm just going to start scanning through your chakras for you now. Okay, starting at the crown, crown chakra. So the crown's indicated some stress for you, brow, the brow chakra. Throat, throat chakra, heart, the heart chakra, just checking in on you, <laughs> solar plexus, so the solar plexus chakra, sacral, so the sacral chakra has an indicated base, okay, so um, Mel, for you tonight, um, the all the chakras are indicating some degree of stress except for the sacral chakra. So what we'll do is we'll just go and see which is the primary chakra to work with. And as you know from kinesiology, we always work with the priority and it has a flow on effect, but I'll always loop back around and just double check that for you. So crown, crown, okay. So Mel, for you tonight, the priority um, to give you some support with is the crown chakra. So let's just dive into that a little bit deeper for you. Okay. Does Mel need to say the affirmation? Yes. How many times? One, two, three, four. Okay. So Mel, there's an affirmation for you to say uh, four times. So um, the affirmation is, I am that I am. So I am that I am. I am that I am. I am that I am. Okay. So the inward expression, the inward expression. Okay. And so now just giving you some, just as we're diving down a bit deeper into the crown chakra for you, just to see if it's the inward expression or the outward expression of the chakra. There's just, um, it's just coming through that you just require a little bit more support just as we dive deeper and that's perfectly normal as well. Okay. Okay. So is it the, is the inward expression? Is the inward expression? Is the outward expression? Okay. So there's some stress around the outward expression of the crown chakra. So let me just dig into that a little bit deeper for you. Okay. So now what's indicated for you is there's um, some stress around inspiring light in others. 
uh, in relation to the outward expression of the crown chakra. So the crown chakra is sometimes called the thousand petaled lotus and this is our connection to the divine. It is vital in feeling peaceful and in creating the life that we desire. When in alignment, we feel at peace and joyous, we see beauty all around us and experience a general sense of joy. And so for you, Mel, tonight, there was just some stress around feeling a general sense of joy. So a traumatic experience can block the free flow of energy in this chakra, and that didn't indicate for you, Mel. So when this is out of alignment, we can doubt ourselves and our purpose. So there's a little bit of stress around purpose, doubting purpose, and we can tend towards depression and feelings of self-doubt. And so there's only some stress. Um, so no stress around depression, but there was a little bit of stress that indicated for you um, around feelings of self-doubt due to the crown chakra being out of alignment for you. So for Mel tonight, is there anything else that I need to look at before going into a balance? Affirmation? And I read to move to a balance. Okay. All right. So is the balance working with the crown directly, the crown chakra? Uh, chakra? Chakra? All right. Affirmation? Is it? The tuning forks. Okay. All right. So Mel, what's come up for you tonight um, to have some support and diffuse the stress um, and bring back into balance the crown chakra is the vibration of the tuning forks. And in particular, it'll be with the vibration of two particular um, meridians of the tuning forks. So if I can ask you to pop in the comment for me if you're left or right-handed. And while you do that, I'm just gonna use the Chinese traditional Chinese medicine alarm points that indicate each of the meridians to determine which the meridians, um, the cross section of meridians that we're working with for you. Okay, so lung, lung, pericardium. Thanks now, heart, okay. So one of those um, tuning forks will be for the heart meridian, lung, pericardium, heart, stomach, large intestine, triple heater. Okay, so the heart and the triple heater um, meridian for you tonight, Mel. So I'll just grab those out. left-handed okay so Mel, there'll be three sounds of the tuning fork i'll just check where um, we need to um, focus the tuning forks so down here down here okay so down here okay so the um, priority will be to focus the vibration of the tuning forks around your crown chakra but also bringing it down to around your heart and solar plexus as well. So I'll be moving them around. So Mel, if you would like to get comfortable, um, really relax, take a nice big breath in and a nice breath out, squeezing your um, abdominals, just get all that air out so your next breath of air is completely fresh. Okay. Just some nice deep breaths now as well.
Another nice deep breath now. Okay. So now I'm just going to go back and check the other chakras as well for you. So crown is showing strong. And they're all showing strong for you. So um, Mel, you requested a chakra balance. Um, all of the chakras bar the sacral indicated in um, showing some stress from a kinesiology perspective. Um, the crown chakra is the priority chakra for us to work with tonight. And we're looking at the outward expression of the crown chakra for you. Um, and the balance to help you with that tonight was the vibration between the heart and the triple heater meridian particularly focusing around your crown chakra, but also around your heart and solar plexus chakra as well. So Mel, I hope that was helpful for you tonight and I wish you the most amazing day ahead. And I'm just going to end our connection now. Wonderful. Okay. So welcome everybody that has joined while I have been in mid balance with Mel. Um, my name is Donna. I'm an internationally recognized kinesiologist and I'm here every Wednesday night offering micro kinesiology balances around chakras and emotions. Um, so it's always an absolute pleasure to be here in this amazing global community um, that we all get to spend some time together in and some time for healing and encouragement for each other. Um, for those of you um, that are interested in receiving a balance, if you are unable to get a balance on the live, um, I have um, opened up some more sessions, just private message me because they're not sort of on my general booking thing. But if you're looking for Zoom balance, if you're looking for some more support, um, I understand in Australia we've had three additional states locked down. Um, we also have some amazing people in here from the UK and India and Canada and New Zealand and all these beautiful countries. Um, that are in various stages of shutdown for um, particular reasons. So if you are needing some help, um, please reach out to me and we can definitely coordinate a, a time that's gonna work. It doesn't matter about your time zone. Um, just know that there's help available if you're needing it. Okay, all right. Thanks, Mel. <laughs> So working on the sacral. The sacral was great. <laughs> okay. So um, next I have a balance for Ben, Ben Eden. So I'm just going to tune into your energy now, Ben. Wonderful. And again, just using those traditional Chinese medicine acupressure points just to make sure our connection is as strong as possible. So Ben, just give me some support through your throat chakra. So if you can please say for me, I am truth. I am truth. And Ben, some, just some additional support through your heart chakra, just as we tune in. So I've just seen Kerry Watts' message. It's just so good to come across. I was told to look into chakra, then to have this show up tonight seems like faith. Divine timing for sure. <laughs> okay. And so again, Ben, just offering you some support through your heart chakra. So if you can please say for me, I am love. I am love. Okay, so just checking your central meridian. That's fine. Just checking your governing meridian. It's wonderful. Okay. So Ben, from a kinesiology perspective, um, acute dehydration has indicated for you. Um, same as before, that can happen if perhaps we've had um, not as much water consistently throughout the day or perhaps more caffeinated beverages than water. So if you can please take a sip of water on your end and hold it in your mouth for 10 to 12 seconds and I'll take a sip of water on my end as well. Okay. 
Wonderful. Okay. So Ben, I'm tuning into your energy and I'm just going to see where I'm guided um, by your innate awareness. So as a kinesiologist, as I mentioned before, I'm actually guided by you, by your innate awareness or subconscious as to um, where we need to look for imbalances and what we need to do to help remove those imbalances so that you can self-heal and so the energy can flow. So for Ben tonight, I'll be working with, is it chakra? Is it emotion? Okay. So both indicated for you, Ben, but working with emotion was the priority for you. So we're just going to move over here to the traditional Chinese medicine five element chart and look at which, mer uh, which element meridian and core emotion is coming up for you. Okay. So fire, earth, metal, water, kidney, bladder. Okay. So for you tonight, Ben, we're working with the water element and the bladder meridian. And then we'll just dive deeper and see which is the core emotion that's indicating for you to get some support with for tonight. So before I do that, I'm just gonna check in on you. And so just some more support through your heart chakra um, before we dive into the core emotion. Um, and I've mentioned before in some of my lives, it's quite natural to require some additional support as we dive deeper in kinesiology. Um, it would be much like if you had a um, you know, if you fell over and you grazed your arm and, um, and you know, you, sort of, you grazed your arm, there was some gravel or something stuck in there and um, somebody started cleaning it and they're cleaning it from out here and that's, you know, not great, that tolerable. And then the closer that the person gets to where the actual wound is with, you know, the bits of gravel or whatever, there's that inward cringe like, oh, like, oh, I don't, I don't like that. Um, and that's what um, I pick up on and then that's the additional support that I'm offering so that your innate awareness and, um, you know, your comfortable mind, body, spirit to dive deeper and to take those extra steps so that we can really get down past the symptoms and start working at the cause or the main issue while supporting the symptoms so that we can really get right down there with kinesiology. Okay. So, fire, earth, metal, water, bladder. Okay. So, fear, anxiety, peace. Red, terror, panic, alertness. Okay, so Ben, what's come up for you is frustration. So frustration. Okay. All right. So with kinesiology, um, we call, um, so if you were to book in for, I've just had a question here about what's the difference between balance and energy chakra. So with kinesiology, um, what I'm doing now is called um, a balance. Um, and what it is, is it's, it's balancing or harmonizing um, mind, body and spirit. So it's going through, it's identifying where there might be any blockages in energy um, and, and then looking at what's needed to remove that. So um, in order to do that, so there could be a particular, so in a, in a longer balance, we might have a particular issue specifically that you might want to work with. And then to balance that, we might be working with chakras, so the energy of the chakras, we might be working more closely with meridians or essences or very particular acupressure holding points or the minor meridians or the higher chakras um, or the vibration of sound. There are so many or neurovascular points um, or certain muscles. There are many different ways that we can help to balance that energy out that, um, that I'm guided to by your innate awareness, like what's going to work best for you um, in, in order to offer you that support. And so chakra is one of those options. But um, we'll continue with the balance for Ben, the emotional um, balance, but we'll see what comes up at the end. We, we don't know because I'm guided by you, so it's always a surprise for me as well. <laughs> okay. So, Ben, we are just going to um, dive deeper into that emotion for you. So the stress was around the emotion of frustration. So... Okay, so it's coming up with emotion, the frustrate, stress around the um, emotion of frustration in the present time. In a situation, so we can have stress from within self. We can have stress toward another that we project out. We can have stress that we take on for another from another, and we can have stress related to a situation. So Ben, yours is coming up. Um, stress around the emotion of frustration in the present time in relation to a situation. So I'll just have a look if there's anything that might be hindering you from releasing some of that tonight. So, okay. so um, then there is some suppression happening. And as humans, it's very natural. You'll have very different ways of dealing with emotions. 
um, particularly stress around particular emotions. Um, we can suppress it, so push it down because, um, you know, we've got to keep going in the day to day. Um, we can deny it. We can get super busy. And so we sort of ignore it. You just stay busy. <laughs> um, um, and we can or we could judge it. Um, and these are all, you know, quite very normal human responses. But what's really important is that we take an opportunity to loop back around um, and release the stress around that emotion and recognize it. So Ben's affirmation is going to help you recognize it. It doesn't mean you're going to, you know, feel intensely painful or anything like that. Not into that. It's just a, oh yeah, okay, this, I recognize that. Um, and upon the recognition allows you to be able to release the stress because you can't release stress around something that you are not recognizing is there. Um, so our, um, our mind, body and spirit is very clever at protecting us in whatever way it sees possible. So it's just good to loop around and help that clear energy, clear that, um, clear that stress away. Okay, so then we're going to say this affirmation twice. So if you can repeat after me, it is safe and appropriate for my feelings of frustration to emerge. It is safe and appropriate for my feelings of frustration to emerge. Wonderful. Okay. So indicate a change of a read to move on to a balance for Ben. Wonderful. And so for the balance for Ben, are we working with, is it a chakra? No. Is it, um, is it sound? Is it sound? No. Is it affirmation? Okay. So Ben, for you tonight, um, the balance has come up um, is an affirmation for you. So I actually have rekindled ancient affirmations. I've got 11,000 here, but I promise you it won't take me long um, to narrow down to the exact one that's required for you to help release the stress um, around this particular emotion for you tonight. So to balance, we're working with that one, that one, okay. So we're working with the rekindled ancient affirmations. So Ben, just as I um, dive a bit deeper, so your um, innate awareness has indicated that you need some additional support. So just offering that to you through your heart chakra. Is there an affirmation from Ben on that page? Affirmation from Ben on that page, an affirmation from Ben on that page. Okay. Is it 93 to 103? Is it 104 to 110? 110 to 120? 110 to 115? 116 to 120? 116 to 117? Okay. So Ben, what's come up for you is an affirmation around survival and instinct. So we'll just have a look at specifically which one it is for you. Okay, is that one, is that one to 10, is that one to 11 to 20, is that 21 to 25, is that 21, 22, 23, 23, 23, okay. Okay, so Ben, the affirmation that's come up for you, um, we're going to say twice, so I'll say it slowly so you can repeat it after me. So the affirmation is, my subconscious is free from living in survival mode. So my subconscious is free from living in survival mode. And I'll just double check. So is this something that Ben needs to say ongoing past this balance? Yep. Days. Yep. Days. One, two, three days. So for three days, Ben, and how many times a day? twice a day. So Ben, it would be ben of benefit for you um, to um, say this affirmation uh, for the next three days, two times a day to help you. So Ben, I hope that was helpful for you tonight. And I'm just going to end our connection now. Wonderful. Okay. Great. Fantastic. It's such a pleasure to be here with you all.
Um, also, please feel free to pop over to um, join my Facebook page. Um, so it's Unleash Your Vitality um, dash Kinesiology or Instagram is Unleash Your Vitality. Um, I will be starting a um, chakra series. I've started filming it, um, putting together all the content and filming it. So it'll start launching next Wednesday. So it's going to call um, Wednesday's World of Chakras. So um, there's some great information that will be coming there that will be diving into providing some general information on what chakras are and then also diving in each week following specifically into a particular chakra um, and sharing some more information about that. Um, I also did a series a while ago called um, Meridian Mondays. So there's a whole lot of information there about the different meridians that flow through, or the main meridians that flow from through our body um, and what that means and where it goes and what it can, um, just some more information um, around that from a traditional Chinese medicine and Vedic perspective. So if that's something that you're interested in, please do feel free to pop over to my Facebook page, um, Unleash Your Vitality-Kinesiology. And from there, if you're wanting to... Um, book in for a balance to get some support. So it can be like one of the balances we're doing now um, on the live. So a micro kinesiology balance, half an hour up to an hour and a half. So whatever you feel like you need support with um, and we can do that via Zoom. Okay. All right. So I'll just see who is next. Okay. So thanks, just bear with me. I'm just going to go through the comments. Okay, so Rebecca, can you please let me know in the comments if you are still here? So you've requested a chakra balance. So if you can please let me know in the comments if you are still here, Rebecca Clinton. And while I'm waiting for that to come through, uh, Kerry, you've requested a chakra balance. Okay. Okay. Oh, sorry, Tina. I tried to press a different button. Okay, and so Rebecca's still here as well. Okay, fabulous. All right. So, Rebecca, I'll tune into your energy first. Wonderful. And just checking those traditional Chinese medicine acupressure points just to make sure our connection is as strong as possible. So, if you can please say for me, Rebecca, I am truth. I am truth. Okay. And so just giving you some additional support, Rebecca, through your heart chakra. And some more support through your heart chakra for you, Rebecca. So can you please say for me, I am love. I am love. Okay, so just checking your central meridian, and that's fine. And just checking your governing. All coming up good. And hydration fine fantastic okay so Rebecca you were after a chakra balance so I'll just scan through your chakras for you and let you know which chakras are indicating stress so crown brow throat so your throat chakra has indicated for you Rebecca heart solar plexus your solar plexus chakra has indicated and your base chakra so your throat solar plexus and base so we'll just have a look at which one is the priority for you. Is it throat? Solar plexus, base, throat. 
Okay. And so, Rebecca, for you tonight, it is the throat chakra that is the um, priority for you. So we'll just dive into that a little bit deeper for you. Okay. So just repeat me to say the affirmation. No. It's the inward expression is the outward. So it's stress around the outward expression of the throat chakra that's indicating for you tonight, Rebecca. So I'm just going to dive a bit deeper into that for you. So learning to silence negative inner chatter has indicated for you. Just checking in on you. Okay. And just offering you some additional support through your throat chakra. <laughs> Not responding to manipulation has indicated for you, Rebecca. And performing daily affirmations has indicated that would be of benefit for you. So the throat chakra relates to our ability to express our authentic self and that indicated for you. So there's some stress around expressing your authentic self at the moment. And it is through this chakra that we convey our deeper self to the world. It is also about our free expression of creativity and is intimately related to our ability to ask for what we need. And so that indicated some stress for you, some asking for what you need and to be able to say what we mean. And that also indicated for you. This chakra can become out of balance when we have been shut down in our attempts to express our needs. When this chakra is misaligned, we have the inability to say what we need and that indicated for you. We tend to keep secrets and we tend to believe that others don't care what we truly need. So those didn't indicate for you. So just checking, is there anything else that Rebecca needs before we move to a balance? No? We are okay to move to a balance. Yes. Wonderful. So the balance for Rebecca tonight, is that chakra? Okay. Which chakra is it? Crown? Brow? Throat. Okay. So for you tonight, Rebecca, the um, balance that's indicated for you um, is working directly with throat chakra. So sometimes when we do a chakra balance, we can be working directly on the chakra that indicated the priority stress um, and sometimes it's not it's working with another chakra but for you tonight it is definitely working with that throat chakra feeling better it was kind of a bit like the energy was sort of stagnant there but now my hands are getting all the warm and tingly again so it's all flowing that's better yeah cool all right so Rebecca I'm just going to go back and check those chakras for you that indicated so solar plexus base and throat and those chakras are all showing strong now. So, Rebecca, I hope that was helpful for you tonight. And I'm just going to end our connection now. Fantastic. Thank you. Okay. And um, Kerry, uh, you are down next. I'm just trying to remember what balance that you wanted. Kerry, can you please let me know in the comments as I tune into your energy? Um, I'm just think, oh, Melody's comment, that was incredible. Happy to learn more. Oh, thanks, Melody. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, Kerry, if you can please pop in the comments for me. Um, you're welcome, Rebecca. Um, sorry, Melody. Uh, Kerry, <laughs> can you please pop in the comment for me um, what balance that you would like? And um, trees, you have come up next. So after Kerry. 
Okay, so 11 p.m. in New Zealand. It's getting on, isn't it? I hope you can hang in there, trees. Um, I'm not sure where Kerry's coming in for from. That's all right, Kerry. If you just want to let me know um, if you'd like, uh, what about I just tune into your energy this time around and um, and uh, go where I'm guided. So we can do that. It'll be either chakra or emotion for you tonight. So I did that for Ben earlier with his um, with his blessing. So I can do that for you if you would like. Fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So Kerry, just let's do that. Good idea. <laughs> let's um, just offer you some support through your throat chakra as I tune in. So I'm going to move a bit faster now because I do want to fit in one more balance before we hit the end of our live tonight. So you've all seen me uh, do the this part so I don't need to explain it as much so again Kerry just offering you some support through your throat chakra just as we tune in to each other's energy closer and closer okay Kerry can you please say for me I am love I am love and just offering you some more support through your heart chakra. And Kerry, can you please take a nice deep breath for me and let that out. Wonderful. Just checking your central meridian and your governing meridian. Fantastic. Okay, so Kerry, we're now connected. So just checking for Carrie's balance tonight, are we doing emotion? Are we doing chakra? Chakra? Okay. So um, Carrie, both indicated for you, but a chakra balance was the priority one for you. Okay. So just getting through your chakras for you now, crown, brow, throat. So your throat chakra has indicated. Um, and Therese, while I'm doing this, could you pop in our oh, chakra balance? Okay, I see. Heart, so your heart chakra indicated. So it was your throat, your heart, and your base chakra, Kerry. Okay, so we'll just have a look and see which one is the priority to work with for you tonight. So is it the throat? Is it the heart? Okay. So the priority for you tonight, Kerry, is the heart chakra. So we'll just dive deeper into that for you. Does Kerry need to say the affirmation? Yep. Twice. Okay. So Kerry, can you please say for me, I am love. I am love. Okay. Is it the inward expression? So what's indicating stress is the inward expression of the heart chakra for you. And there's indicated some stress around um, emotional center. Um, some stress is indicated for you around self-love. Compassion and kindness. But let me just dive a bit deeper into that for you. Is it compassion? Okay. And so it's compassion and kindness towards yourself. So not others. So what's indicating is that you are very compassionate and kind to others but perhaps don't extend yourself the same generosity and, um, and love. So the heart chakra is intimately connected to our capacity to love and to feel empathy and compassion. And so compassion indicated for you again, but we know that it's like the self-compassion. So when the heart chakra is balanced, we can feel a deep sense of appreciation for others and an awareness of the many gifts in our lives, as well as a deep sense of inner peace. And so there's some um, stress indicated there around inner peace for you. We can become out of alignment in this area if we've experienced heartbreak. And so that indicated for you tonight or abandonment or aggrieving, or aggrieving the loss of a loved one or relationship and grieving indicated for you tonight. So when this chakra is out of balance, we can feel a hesitancy to trust. And that indicated for you, Kerry, we can feel less compassionate and that indicated, but we understand that that's um, self-compassion. 
and we can feel impatient and not feel a sense of peace. And again, that indicated for you. So um, is there anything else that Kerry needs tonight? Are we okay to move to a balance? Okay. And so for Kerry's balance tonight, are we working with chakras? Is it a chakra? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it crown, brow, throat, heart, solar plexus? Solar plexus. Okay. And so Kerry, um, what's coming up for you? So the heart chakra was the priority. Oh, that's moving. The heart chakra was the priority um, chakra for you to get some support with tonight and then to help balance the stress that's indicated in relation to the outward expression of the heart chakra we're actually working with the solar plexus chakra for you and the solar plexus chakra is all about maintaining our personal boundaries not only physically but emotionally and energetically as well So Kerry, if you can just take a nice big deep breath for me. I just got like this sudden feeling of lightheadedness. <laughs> so it feels like the energy around the solar plexus chakra is, um, is really uh, fast, like over energy. So sometimes with our chakras and with our meridians and different acupressure points, we can have some that are over energy and some that are under energy from a traditional Chinese medicine perspective. And what that means is that um, it's doing twice the load or twice the work and the other one's not sort of carrying its weight. And so for you in particular, working with the supporting the heart chakra, working with the solar plexus, by working with the solar plexus chakra, it's like we're balancing and aligning the solar plexus chakra to, um, to come back into alignment. So it's working so it's not overcompensating for the heart chakra and the heart chakra can kick in and do what it needs to do for the energy there for you. So it's just basically rebalancing those chakras for you. Um, I do offer, um, if anyone's interested, to um, chakra balances that are uh, dive deeper again into the chakras and... Um, I'll show you in a moment my chakra card so we look at you know which chakra it is and then we dive which component of that chakra um, with this a beautiful um, chakra reading set that I've got so it definitely feels like the solar plexus chakra has kind of like calmed down a little bit it was like just really racing and it's a lot more um, a lot more steady now and the heart chakra is picking up a bit more. So let's just rebalance that for you. Okay. So I do offer, um, if anyone is interested or drawn to it, um, very particular chakra balances. And I've got these amazing um, chakra cards that I use in the balance um, just to dive deeper again. So um, if that's of interest for you, um, please pop over to my um, Facebook page, Unleash Your Vitality Kinesiology. Send me a message and we can chat about that if you'd like. Okay. So, um, Karen, I'm just going to go check those other chakras for you. So throat, heart, and base. Okay. And so now they're all indicating strong for you. So, Kerry, tonight we were working with the heart chakra for you as the priority. It was the inward expression of the heart chakra around emotional center, self-love, self-compassion, and kindness to self. Um, and there was some stress showing there around, um, you know, feeling a sense of peace as well. So um, it gave you some support with that through working with your solar plexus chakra and bringing the chakras back into alignment for you. So I hope that was beneficial for you tonight. Um, and I'm just going to end our connection now. Wonderful. Okay. So just tuning into trees. And so trees, just as I tune into your energy, just offering you some additional support through your sacral chakra. So 
So again, just touching those very particular traditional Chinese medicine acupressure points, just to make sure our connection is as strong as possible and just offering you some support through your heart chakra now, tree. So if you can please say for me, I am love. I am love. Wonderful, and just checking your central meridian and your governing meridian. Hydration, wonderful. Fantastic, okay. So um, Therese, we are connected and you were after a chakra balance. So I'm just gonna scan through your chakras for you and let you know which chakras might be indicating stress for you tonight. Okay, crown, brow, throat, heart. So trees, heart chakra has indicated for you, solar plexus, sacral, base. Okay, so trees, the only one that indicated for you tonight is the heart chakra. So we're going there. That's the one for you for tonight. Okay. So does trees need to say the affirmation? No. Is it the inward expression? Is it the outward expression? So it's the outward expression of the heart chakra that's indicating stress for you tonight, trees. So I'll just dive into that a bit deeper for you. So is it forgiveness? So what indicated for you trees was creating a daily routine that's in sync with your body's natural rhythms. So let me just ask, I'll, I'll go through this part and then I'll find out some more information for you. So this chakra is intimately connected to our capacity to love and to feel empathy and compassion. When the heart chakra is balanced, we can feel a deep sense of appreciation for others and an awareness of the many gifts in our life, as well as enjoying a sense of inner peace. We can become out of alignment in this area if we've experienced heartbreak or abandonment or are grieving the loss of a loved one or a relationship. So none of those indicated few trees. So when this chakra is out of balance, we can feel a hesitancy to trust. So that indicated for you. We can feel less compassionate. We feel impatient and we don't feel a sense of peace. So none of that indicated for you. And what I'm kind of getting is, um, let me just... Let me just feel into it a little bit more, might be sec. Okay. So for you trees, what's coming up is it's um, the creating a daily routine and sync with your body's natural rhythms is indicating, because I'm getting a sense of being hurried. So like not hurried, but like hurried, like where there's so much happening um, all the time it doesn't necessarily mean it's physically happening um, but it's mentally happening it may also be physically happening but it's the um, the sort of mental is what I'm sort of picking up on it would almost be easier if it was just physical because the mental one is quite draining um, constantly sort of doing and thinking and yeah um, and so what's coming up is it's um, impacting your heart chakra because it's got you out of alignment with your natural rhythm. So um, it's not coming up for you around, you know, forgiveness of others or um, heartfelt connections. All of that is showing very strong. It's just a, a, a sense of imbalance for you, like you're just out of alignment from your natural centre um, is what's coming up for you. So let's have a look at what we can do to support you with that. So four trees, are we working with... Um, are we working with chakra? Is it chakra? No. Is it affirmations? Okay. So trees, um, we're going to be working with an affirmation for you. And for you, be working, we'll be working with um, emotion affirmations as part of the rekindled ancient wisdom. So I'm just going to go and have a look at which is the specific affirmation that's needed for you tonight. So is it that? 95 to 105. Okay. So just checking in on you. Okay, yep, still good. Okay. So 
so the affirmation um, category that indicated for you trees was overworked. <laughs> so just narrowing in on affirmation for you. Is it 1 to 10? Is it 1 to 10? Is it 11 to 20? Is it 11 to 15? Is it 11? Is it 12? Is it 13? 13. Okay. How many times? Once, well, twice. Okay. So trees, what's come up for you is an affirmation we're going to say twice together now. So I'll say it slowly. So I let go of the unrealistic expectations I place on myself. I let go of the unrealistic expectations I place upon myself. Okay. Um, and um, does trees need to say this affirmation ongoing? Yes. Okay. Are we talking days? One, two, three, four, five days. And how many times a day? One, two. So trees, this affirmation would be really good for you to say for the next five days, two times a day. So again, the affirmation, and you can always go back and watch um, the last bit of this segment for your balance. Um, is I let go of the unrealistic expectations that I place upon myself. Wonderful. So, Teresa, I hope that was helpful for you tonight. I know it's later on um, in the night for you over in New Zealand. So um, I hope that was helpful for you tonight. I'm just going to end our connection now. Wonderful. Okay. It has been an absolute pleasure being with you all here tonight. Um, so, Carrie, I'm just reading your comments. I'm amazed how spot on. You all picked up on me. Wow, it brought tears to my eyes. It really did. Self-love is definitely something I have to work on. This is really humbling. Thank you. Oh, you are more than welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, Nicole, I have the same starseed deck that's behind you. Oh, my gosh. I love this deck. Absolutely love it. It's just beautiful. And it's really cool because you use that and you pop your cards in there as well. Um, it definitely comes up in quite a, my, a few of my kinesiology balances um, as well I'll show you now I'm running out of time I'm such a chatterbox but the um the cards in there are just exquisite just exquisite so um yeah share a little something wonderful so I will be back here next Wednesday 8 30 um I do go live on my Facebook page unleash your vitality kinesiology at eight o'clock um, offering uh, some card readings uh, for 15 minutes so it's just like a lovely interlude uh, for the kinesiology tribe so if you would like to join please do join there at eight o'clock um, alternatively I do go live on a number of amazing platforms at 8 30 um, and it would be my absolute pleasure to see you back here again next week at 8 30 Australian Eastern Standard Time in the interim please feel free if you've got any questions um, about what kinesiology is um, or you know how you can access it um, please do feel free to pop over to my Facebook page and send me a message from there so it's been an absolute pleasure to be with you all I'll just double check if there's any other comments the trees who watch the replay yeah Liz, thanks very much Liz okay I'm um, sorry for those that I have missed tonight um, the comments do definitely move quite quickly so please come and join me again next Wednesday. Take care, everybody, and I wish you the most amazing week ahead. Bye.